Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yashala, Koholo Yawa Bashim Yawa Shai, Bahashem, Rachachudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim, Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yawa Shai to the best of their ability. Jacques Hanan Waf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just wanted to just, you know, touch and show. We do this all the time. We have to reiterate and show our people that the so-called white man hates you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans with a passion, man. These people hate you. They're your enemies. They're never going to be your friends. They're never going to like you. You're not Americans. Because if you, you wouldn't even be able to call yourself Americans if they, had they not kidnapped you and brought you here. So how the hell are you an American? Your true nationality is your... Biblical nationality is your Hebrew Israelite from your respective tribe. You see? Now, this is the Farmington Hills Police, right? And this is, um, you know, not too far from where I live. Of course, one of the places that I, I, I try my very hardest to not venture. I don't, you know, I work in a, you know, an Edomite community, so to speak. And I come to work and I get my money and I get the fuck on. I, I go home. I'm not hanging out in these so-called white people's areas because they hate your guts, man. And when they get in numbers and they get to having a few drinks in them and shit like that, they get rowdy. And if you and, and, and they're cowards. So they when they're outnumbering you, they'll jump you. <laughs> they'll do all kinds of nastiness to you, man. But when they by themselves, uh, you know, they, you know, hey, how you doing? No, the, the scripture says never to trust thine enemy. Now, these are police officers that are, you know, your, your taxpayers monies go to. You see what I'm saying? And it says the Farmington, Farmington Hills police shooting shooting targets were all black men found during Cub Scout visit, right? Let me see if I can get this video to play. So lucky, maybe not. If not, I'll Listen just read it. Now, of course, you, all you're going to see is lawyer, lawyer, lawyer commercials here. So all you see is lawyer commercials. Because there's a lot of, a lot of wrongful shit that goes on here, man. Everybody's suing. But here we go right here. Do better. Chief a recent field trip to the Farmington Hills Police Department by a local scout troop is receiving criticism, not because of anything they heard, but because of what they saw. And they took the little kids, this Cub Scout troop, down, I guess in the basement, where they do the target practice. And their targets were all black men. And I just was outraged by that. Fearing backlash, a family whose child was a part of that trip contacted attorney Dion Webster Cox to speak out on their behalf to express outrage over why the only images used in the target practice are those of black men. Farmington Hills Police Department, you need to do better. Why is there no diversity? I don't see how any black man walking in Farmington is going to be, I don't know how they're safe. Attorney Webster Cox says she is not filing a lawsuit, but is working to raise awareness. So she started researching the Farmington Hills Police Department and learned that a former black police officer on the force filed a complaint charging racial bias against this department in 2021. And that's not the only thing she found out. In July of 2021, the ACLU has sent a four-year request over to the Farmington Hills Police Department and requesting about how money had been spent regarding, I guess, target practice. The attorney says the results of the request show that the Farmington Hills Police Department is not using all the materials they ordered for target practice. They ordered this target, but they ordered, they had a, a lot of groups. They had uh, Caucasians, they had, uh, it was just, it was very diverse. Now, how is it you ordered this, but the only one that you're actually using is the black man. Critics say they have to speak out about what they saw because the practice could lead to racial profiling. Not only does it lead to racial profiling, you had a Boy Scout troop in there. You had eight, nine-year-olds. What are you teaching them? Fox 2 reached out to the Farmington Hills Police Department to hear what they had to say, but we are still waiting for a response. At the end of the day, and what I just want to make clear is that this behavior is not acceptable because it affects all of us. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox two news okay and there you have it and this has been going on for a real long time and it's not gonna stop that's the thing that you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans got to get in your heads is that you're not americans they stole this place they stole this place they stole it from you so-called native americans so why the fuck are you calling yourselves americans 
They, they came to the West Coast of Africa. They stole you niggas. And you're still in the hands of kidnappers to this very day. How can you be calling yourself American? When America is named after a so-called white man. And Africa is named after a so-called white man. Everywhere they go and steal, they name it after themselves. So for you to call yourself an African-American, that's saying that you descend from two different white men. That's insane, man. See, you got a lady like this. I, I can applaud what she's trying to do. But she actually thinks that we're black people. That's not a nationality. A color is not a nationality. You see what I'm saying? Continents are not nationalities. We are Hebrew Israelites from our respective tribes, man. And I just wanted to just touch on this. Let's see what the comments say, because you're going to see a, probably a bunch of racism in here, too. And show you that these so-called white people hate your goddamn guts. See, here you go. It says, really, is it violating the target civil rights? What difference is there of a black, white or Latino target? Who care? All of them fucking black. You got they just showed one with a so-called white man with a fucking gun in his hand. So why aren't you shooting at the one with the gun? You see? And then they the ones that's doing all the damn mass shootings. And, and, and I'm telling you, hey, see, I live here. I understand. I know that 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 city is a racist ass fucking city. All them eight mile cities is racist. That's where you got eight miles. See, people think of eight mile and they think, of, oh, Eminem, a great rapper. No, eight mile is, is, is a sundown. When you go over eight mile. It was what you considered to be a sundown town. Not long ago, that shit used to be a wall where you couldn't go into the so-called white man's neighborhoods over there. And they had a sun. It was called a sundown town because you you could come over there and go to work for them. But by sundown, you better had your ass from over there. Or, matter of fact, they had signs up that said you forfeited your life if you was caught over there, if you was a Negro. And this is one of those cities. You see what I'm saying? And they still continue. That's why I don't go to none of these places, man. I stay within the, the, the area of where my people are. Now, we might be. You can call it black on black crime or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But I do feel safer around my own people than I do feel um, about going around these so-called white people in these fucking areas, man. Because they'll railroad you. Trust me. Because see, look at here. It says, um, who cares if all you're ever looking for is racism and negative human conditions? Then that's what you are. See, you're not looking at the fact that all the fucking targets are black people. Black men. See, but this is the type of shit that they can say. Because this is their kingdom. What this one says, when 51% of the murders are committed about by 8% eight, by 8 of the population. See, that's what they're telling you. See, they want to try and make it seem like we're just the most dangerous, we're the worst people, but we don't have no nuclear weapons. I bet you that. I bet you we're not flying drones and killing fucking people in these countries. I bet you we're not out here, we're, we're not producing guns, we're not producing bullets. You see? I was just on the freeway. And and, 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 and and I just thought about it like everything Esau Edom does is, is, a, is destructive as hell. Just by them building a the freeway and these fast ass cars, you know, they, millions of people done die in, in car accidents because of the so-called white man. Millions of people have died from lung cancer because of, 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 of fucking inhaling damn secondhand cigarette smoke. We ain't going to even talk about the ones that actually smoke. How many people done died of opioid abuse? You see what I'm saying? All this shit is owned by the so-called white man. But then they'll tell you 8% of the population. But who's, who's giving you the numbers? Who can actually even tell how? Because the Israelites are, are, if we was together as a nation of people, see the Lord scattered us throughout the four corners of the earth. So we're small numbers in a lot of different nations. But if you put us all together, we're not the minority. We're the majority. The so-called white man, he's the one that's dying off quicker than they can be born. But see, they get these numbers. Where do you think they get these numbers from? Their own media. It's them that's, that's cooking the books, man. You see? And I already knew once I got off into it, it was going to be a bunch of, uh, a bunch of fucking um, um, uh, uh, Cajuns of call in here. And what a Malcolm, um, brother Malcolm, <laughs> elder Malcolm Salaki is excited, man. It says, don't go there then. Stay home. Oh, I, oh I'm staying home. I understand. So what? No one who's ever been in Farmington is surprised. Well, of course not. Because people know. People understand that all those cities and that you got that whole county. Matter of fact, that's Oakland County. And Negroes fight tooth and nail to try and move around these, these, these races, man. 
And they're going to realize that when shit hits the fans, they're going to run their asses right back across town to where their people are. And we ain't got to get no more. This is, you see what it is. These fucking people. Hey, you better realize that you have enemies, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You running around here talking about I have rights and I can go where I want. This is America. Motherfucker, it's not your America. They stole the place. They don't want you around. And I don't get Jake trying to push up around people that don't want them around. I'm never trying to be around nobody, man, that don't want me around. Never. That's, that's insane. Matter of fact, we already got this up. I'll get this, Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. See, our people envy these people, so they try and move to these areas because they feel as if that's the American dream. Oh, it's nice out there. Don't get me wrong. Nice and pristine. The streets are nice and clean. They don't litter. The yards are normally cut. You know, there's no abandoned homes. There's no blight. You know? Not no... As a matter of fact, niggas don't even really live there like how... So why would you even have niggas up as the shooting targets? There's some Jake that live out there. Don't get me wrong. But it's not nowhere as much... It's more Chinese people, so-called Chinese people that live in that, in that city than, um, than blacks. But this is a part of the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. That you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American, you are the children of Israel. And the Lord placed us in this situation. Why? For disobedience. Idolatry acting a goddamn fool trying to be like these other nations when the lord told you not to be you had your own we had our own thing going on and jake don't like righteousness jake love folly man and that's the reason why a lot of our people are so destroyed to this very day man and i'm telling you now the so-called see it's the so-called black women they move into these areas and try and raise their children oh, i want a better life for my kids you know as soon as they get a little bit of money they live and check the check in those places and that so-called black woman that was giving the interview, she probably lived there. But see, that's a different type of attitude of people, man. They don't understand or realize that they actually have enemies. The so-called white man is your enemy. He's not your friend. Go your ass to work if you got to work with him and get the hell away from him. Why be out in these cities um, 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 shopping at their bars and shopping in their boutiques and all this other stuff? You got stuff around you. Just get what you need because this is not our rest. And that's a problem that our people have is that they just can't see beyond this place. They can't see being in rulership. They can't see if, if, if the white man is not ruling over them. They just can't see nothing other than that, man. It's sad, man. Matter of fact, let me get this Micah. I'm going to cut it, you know, in a sec here. But I just, you know, I seen that this morning when I first got up, you know, and um, I was kind of looking through the news, you know, because we look for things to, you know, to, to report on as soon as we get up, man. By the spirit and power of your about Shimmy, I was shy. It just so happened it, it crossed my mind again. And you know, I had a little bit of free time. Like, let me let me touch on that. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Our people are so destroyed, they actually think that they're they're Americans. They would never in a million years think that, you know what? I wouldn't be able to call myself an American had these people not kidnapped me and brought me here. Our people, right? They're not gonna think like that. And if you bring it up to them, they're gonna be like, "Ah, oh, man, I was, y'all, that was so long ago." But they're gonna celebrate 1776, Fourth of July, with some pork ribs. I bet you that. Bring that up. Oh, but that's different. I'm telling you, man. Our, this is how destroyed our people are, man. And they're actually destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Let's get that. Hosea four and six. And it reads, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because our people don't know who they are. So they're definitely destroyed from that end. They, 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 they don't have the knowledge of your, your, you have enemies. Here you go. You walking with the lion every day, not knowing when this motherfucker is going to lash out. He's hungry now. And then he gets you. And then you surprised. That's why the scripture says, um, um, pity, pity thou not a charmer. You know, you got them snake charmers. They, you know, you ever seen them in the movies? You know, they normally of uh, those wet, um, those Indians um, over in um, in India. You know, they got the dots on their heads. And them people darker than us. They don't call them black. But they be playing a little flute. And you got the cobra. He's dancing out of the thing. And then when a motherfucker get bit, you're looking at this nigga like, well, what do you expect? You dealing with, you dealing with cobras, nigga. That's the same way the scriptures is talking about the so-called white man. If you dealing with him, 
It's your fault if they fuck you up. The Lord told you never trust thine enemy. Let's get this again. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of, our, of thy God, I will also forget thy children. And that's what's going on with a lot of our children anyway. And our people. And especially women these days. A lot of judgment is going out. On the, um, on the women and children of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans communities, man. Why? Because first off, these the same niggas that's back on earth that said, crucify him, crucify him. Let the blood of the Lord be on our hands, roughly paraphrasing. Those are the ones that wanted the criminal, Barnabas, I think is his name. They, they wanted him to be saved, and, and the Lord hadn't done nothing. They wanted, a, they, 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 they were shouting for a murderer to be given to him. And the brother was just going into that. That's why you got these, 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 the nigga woman. She don't like a dude that'll just go straight to work, come home, take care of everything. She got to have a gangster. You see, they don't, they don't want no righteous. They want, they got to have a, well, he's just boring. Who told you that shit? Cause he's not out here shooting at other niggas. Then you got these dudes. They don't want a nice chick. They want some slut bucket with a fat ass. They don't want nothing righteous. They don't want a woman that'll just wear dresses. Oh, I don't want no one. They prefer their woman be out in public with all their ass cheeks showing. And you see it all day long. Go to somewhere like your regular Walmart. You'll think that you at a fucking strip club. All you're going to see is the nigga woman walking around with her ass out and, 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 and tits out with them big ass feather dusters on, man. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And now, here you go. Your children see that shit. Now you got a whole new, you're, now your eight, nine year olds, they just as much, they, they just fucking slut buckets in, in, in training. With the men being trained to be effeminate as hell. You little boys out here soft as hell, man. You know, what kind of 12 year old, 13, mother can't ride a bike. You ain't ever learned to ride, I ain't saying that everybody got to learn to ride a bike, but you just thinking like, you know, outside activities. They all soft and effeminate. You're running around with a damn, sitting up in a damn shopping buggy. Seven, eight years old. When your ass can walk with a damn iPhone in your hand. Watching um, some damn Disney movie or something. Just ridiculous, man. But let me get this last one. Because I'm at the plantation. I'm about to be slicing and dicing out of here in a little bit. Let's get this right here. Because this is, you know, one of, hey, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, hates your fucking guts. You just better get that through your head, man. That's not going nowhere. All that marching and fighting. Now all of a sudden, I think they done overturned um, Roe versus Wade I just seen. And all oh my goodness, you know that the nigga woman about to be out here marching. Her little like, marching heels down to some flip-flops. To kill the nigga, ba to kill the nigga baby. <laughs> you, you just, you watch. This is going to be your, 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 your 4th of July right here. And you're going to be out here, veterans going to be out here barbecuing for freedom. The so-called... Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American women gonna be right along with these damn white women to uh, marching to kill your babies, man. Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Now, this is going to you so-called white people, so listen closely. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword and the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God. And you know the Lord don't lie. I've done a lesson on that yesterday. The Lord is not lying. He changed not. He, his word goes forth and it doesn't return to him void. It's going to go forth and it's going to do what he said it's going to do, right? Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh Power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And he, these are some bloodthirsty bastards, man. These the same ones that like a bloody steak. They don't want no well-done steak. You ask the average so-called white person, hey, how you like your steaks? They're going to tell you. I want that. They got to see some pink in it. And some of them, they just want it seared for a few seconds. And that goes off the Esau Edom's um, um, color, too, as well. Red. According to Genesis 25 and 25, the first came out red. That's how you know who he is. Why they running around here talking about they white people? No such thing as white people, man. They're not white. They're actually pinkish to reddish. And right now in this hot ass weather, because it's been hot lately, I've been seeing some boy. They look like the brake lights on a on an ambulance. As of late, 
out here trying to get some damn color. Out here trying to turn black, but in the meanwhile, they just turn it into a damn stop sign. You see? Matter of fact, let's let's get that real quick though. Get that Genesis 25 and 25. Just to just prove who you're dealing with. You're dealing with a cunning hunter. And this is this is the biblical name for the so-called white man right here. And that's why we call them so-called white, because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. And the first came out red. Now, this is talking about the twins that Isaac and Rebecca had. You got Esau and you got Jacob. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. And the NLT over here says, the first one was very red at birth. Motherfucker was looking like uh, 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 the top of a damn thermometer on hot, hot. The first one was very red at birth and covered with thick hair. And you see some of these hairy back motherfuckers, man. Neck all hairy. Fucking hair hanging all out of the collar of their shirt. Breathing all hard. The first one was very red at birth and covered with thick hair like a fur coat. So they named him Esau. And then it goes off into Edom. It gives him a secondary name. That means red. Because when you go off into, um, let's see here. This is where he got down with the red meat right here. Verse 30. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. See that red? For I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And the NOT over here says, Esau said to Jacob, I'm starved. Give me some of that red stew. Because the food wasn't ready yet. The impatient motherfucker. You know, this is where this is the guy that invented the microwave. You know, everything has got to be instant for him. He has no patience whatsoever. You see? Give me some of that red stew. This is how Esau got his other name, Edom, which means red. Now, who's the red people on the planet? Just, just use common sense here. Because these people are not actually white, man. There's no such thing as black people. There's different shades of brown people, and there are different shades of red people on the planet pinkish to reddish in color and like i said since you see the summer is out check them out then they go to these tanning booths and turn and get baked orange and be looking crazy as hell looking like a damn orangutan but they go out to these beaches and want to sit out in the sun you know why because they're missing that melanin and, and when you want to get deep about it if you got ears to hear they go back to cain that killed abel and that was that mark that was placed upon Cain. He lost his melanin. If you notice, they're the only people on the planet that don't have no melanin. Even the so-called Chinese and so-called Japanese, they got somewhat of some tint. They got a little bit of some color. They're for damn sure not running around here looking like um, um, fucking brake lights, man. Looking like the ash on a cigarette. Looking like a cigarette being pulled. Come on, man. Get out of here. But I just wanted to just um, touch on this because this right here has been going on since we've been here. And it's going to continue going on. Now, how do you think they came up with the police, man? Do the history on the police. Go back to them paddy wagons. The police was only created to protect the so-called white man's property, which was the so-called blacks. They was created to run them niggas down when they escaped. That's the only reason why you and it just carried on to this very day. Now see the so-called white man, your average one. We ain't talking about the elite. We're talking about your average so-called white person that's running. They had no idea that this system was going to be against them too. But guess what? I'm white though. They don't understand it. They got the same. They the new nigga. They, don't, they just don't see it yet. They are the new niggas. You see? But they get a little bit better treatment when it comes to, you know, Drug use and shit like that. You see, when it comes to Jake, they threw Jake still sitting in jail for crack cocaine. But now that this new opioid and fentanyl shit is out here and it's killing all these so-called white people, they they need they, they, it's a health crisis. But when it when, but when it was going down for our people like that, these niggas are criminals. Let's lock all them niggas up. A lot of so-called black people still sitting in jail, man, from um um shit like this, man, just a uh, minor drug charges and shit like that. Now, Jake wicked as hell. It is what it is. But these so-called white people, they'll try and make it seem like you niggas is the worst, but they the ones with nuclear bombs. And you tell me where's the comparison there? Jake might have some guns that the white man created, right? But Jake ain't got no nuclear weapons.
Jake not flying no no F-35s, man. Jake not in, 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 in possession of no F-22 fighter jets. Jake is not in possession of no, no goddamn Navy ships. We're not in control of no, no submarines. We're not going to Mars. We're not going to, in the fucking space. We don't have any of that shit. But they'll sit there and tell you that you're the problem with the earth. Hypocrites, man. And they push that through their media, which is their medium, that sorcery, that witchcraft. So you got to wake up. So you got to, once you get into the scriptures and the Lord wake you up and you start to go through these scriptures, you start to see what your enemy is really like. That way you can counter this motherfucker, man. And you can only counter him with the scriptures. The Lord is the one that's going to protect you. But if you are not in tune with these scriptures and the Lord is not dealing with you, you are, you are prone for a trap by the so-called white man all day long. Because that's all he does is set traps. He's a cunning hunter. That's another thing that the scriptures describe um, as, for him as one of his attributes. He's a cunning hunter. Cunning hunters, man, they, they, they get camouflaged. You see these so-called white men? Look at some of these hunting channels. Man, they'll camouflage out and blend right in with the fucking terrain. You won't even know where he's at. And you don't even see it coming into your ass laying on the ground. Check them out how they kill deer and how they kill animals and how they, they set traps for men like that. You look at the police department. These are the same people right here, the damn police department, right? They'll be driving. Say, for instance, you, you driving uh, 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 a, a, a fucking F-150. They'll have an F-150 look just like yours. And you won't, won't have no decal on it. You won't even know it's them until the lights flicker. The lights are not on the top of the, uh, the vehicles no more. The lights are all within the, the, the console and all around. You know, it's just it's sneakery. And they, they, they just chill and sit. I pass a um, police officer here and there every other day. This guy, he he's in an unmarked car, right? He's just in a regular charger, right? Now, he backs into a, 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 a driveway as if he lives there. He's in the driveway. You won't even know that he's a police officer until he whips out on your ass. You see? And there, there's real sneaky and cunning, man. But I'm going to end out right there, man. I'm, like I said again, and it's 144. Cool, hello, yeah, how about Shimmy? I was shy. I'm going to end out here. But, hey, keep your head on a swivel, man. You are living in very dangerous times. The so-called white man is not to be trusted, and you have to just know that, man. These are enemies of yours. The Lord said it. He said to never trust them. So if you trust them, then you, you're going against what the Lord said, and you, your ass deserve what you get. So with that, Kwame Yashallah.